This is me, Duke, presenting to you guys with our D&D class tier list. And we are going to start off with the Barbarian. The Barbarian, A tier. Rage is incredible, gives you a lot of great buffs, you are a tank, and everyone loves and relies on you. And the new UA playtest stuff lets you use Rage in a lot of social situations now. So, bam, A tier, right there. Yep, there we go. Wonderful. The Bard. Now, this might come to a shock to a lot of you. Which letter does the Bard start with? That's right. The letter B. B tier. The Bard is supposed to be an expert in the arts, but there's me to blame and also Vox Machina to blame that Bards are now just sex icons, which they're not. They're meant to keep stories alive and to keep going. So, bam. B tier. Because of the memes. All right? Cleric. Also, B tier. I've played clerics, and never have I been excited, yet not excited to play a cleric. It's just kind of been meh the whole time. Plus, almost every other spellcaster in this list can heal. So, like, B tier. Smack. Right there. Druid! What does the druid's letter start with? That's right, a D! D tier for the druid! I feel like everyone who plays a druid gets really excited about playing a druid. But then they get frustrated because they don't understand the druid. Fighter! What is the fighter's first letter? That's right, F. So it goes to B tier. <laughs> the base fighter gets pretty boring as you level up. Probably the first 10 levels are exciting because you get more bonks and that's what you need. But after that, it just gets really boring. Subclasses do really well, but some of the subclasses just add flair to your bonking or just give you even more damage to your bonking. Eldritch Knight is pretty good because it lets you get spells, but other than that, you get more base features than actual subclass features. So, bam, B tier. The Monk. Put that, put it right at C tier. Paladin. Paladin is S tier. Paladin is a fantastic, powerful martial fighter and also half caster. Also, they throw it back. That is all. Ranger. A tier. I know. That may come as a surprise to many of you, but to be honest, the ranger, in my opinion, is everything people want the fighter to be. You cannot change my mind on that. Everyone wants the fighter to be better. Just play a ranger. They do just as much as damage if they really want to. Plus, they have spells. It's freaking great. The rogue, Jacob, moving along with me. Ready? One, two, three. You. S tier! Yes! The rogue is at S tier. Why? Because it is incredibly versatile and can avoid damage. They can just avoid it. Breath weapon? Nope. Gonna dodge out of the way. Fireball? Nah, it misses, even though it was centered on me. Just, meh. Just, it could go away. You know, it's fine. Oh, I got stabbed to death? Nah, I'm just gonna take half stabbing. It's fine. It's fantastic. Subclasses? Fantastic. Also, they have advantage. Sorcerer, D tier. They're just wannabe wizards who got their powers from their rich dad. Also, wild magic is only fun when it doesn't affect the whole party. Warlock. Let's move it up to S tier. Let's get people's hopes up and then move it down to D tier because warlocks are overhyped. That is all. And now the wizard, B tier. They're the best magic casters. It doesn't make any sense how they can learn every spell, but they can't learn any healing spells. So that's one of the reasons why they got moved down a block. And also, as well, they have to spend a fortune just to learn new spells and get spell scrolls. So that's why is B tier. All right. That is my tier list of the best classes who I think is... It, yep, this is it. 